You know what it's like? It's like, uh, you know, like Wolverine, he has his claws, but before he got an adamantium skeleton, like every time he extracted his claws, like it tore his skin. Yeah. That's what it's like. It's like I wound myself at this point. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it, you know, it has to be said. You know, what's going on? <laughs> Why? Has to be open. Heart has to be open. I have to break my heart over and over again. <laughs> Start using my lines against me. Stop your blood pot whining. You just said. <laughs> I'm, uh, okay. <laughs> um, this poem is uh, the reason it it must be said is because it is the affair of my people who are very kind of unique people on the planet Earth, uh, black people of America, African-American people, and uh, the people that are the product of the transatlantic slave trade, although there was slavery all over the world, it, the, the slavery in America was very strange, and it was very peculiar type of slavery, and it produced some very peculiar results. So anyway, this is a poem. This is a poem for us, or for them, for us, for all of us, for all of us. <sighs> The dead won't let me sleep. The living won't let me die in peace. My heart's filled with a yesterday that never happened. My hands filled with my face. My long breaths bleed between my fingers. I killed myself once, but my lives are plural. That's why I can speak to the immoral like I'm immortal. The mind is fertile. Birth the verse with no epidural. The truth hurts. Speaking life into the dead as if it's normal. This is the lion hearted. The fire starter. The sound in the fury. William Faulkner. The color purple. Alice Walker. Canterbury Tales. Geoffrey Chaucer. Every people were sent a prophet. Likewise, every people have been sent an author. And every people have been sent an imposter to tell their story. This is a tale of what turns a man into a monster and what turns a monster into a martyr and a shadow of untold trauma, a secret art of how to unfold karma and the divine unknown drama, true and living. We're just trying to make black history, but it's like they're trying to make blacks history and won't even write a eulogy for you and me. Misery loves company, but the company loves misery. The company will co-op your story and sell your suffering in HD, the tragedy seen more vividly. Obviously, we must be NSFW. They don't want to pay you but peddle you. Our petty cash has settled you. That's why it's hard to employ me, but even harder to ignore me. The irony isn't lost on me. How they made slaves of the masses of ceremonies. Ha, clever, me, never. They like their bitches spayed, niggas neutered. Nigga babies carefully tutored to be foolish yet ruthless, to eat garbage and drink sewage, and to even say an African American sound like a nigga Judas. The American dream is a love song gone wrong, a fantasy long gone. But if you knew this and still want to be a slave, then you're stupid and useless. I'm going to tell you straight. Because I love you, I'm going to tell you straight. This ain't the shucking and jiving pickety nigga. This is the pick of the litter. Alpha male, you still smell like infamil, imbecile. I'm Oscar Grant, still mourning Emmett Till. I'm Emmett Smith, no NFL. Running and juking in the killing fields. But those killing fields deadly enough even to make Emmett still. I admit still, shooken up every time I see Emmett's grill. Into my molar spark and I taste battery acid. And maybe that's too drastic. Maybe I'm overreacting. Maybe seeing that baby shouldn't face me, but it does. It does, it does, it does. Are we not flesh and bone? Are we not minds and souls or eyes either blind or closed? As if we don't see, as if we don't know, they'll kill you. Like it's no biggie, no ditty. Why are we arguing over who the king of New York City they emasculate the greats? Bye, Black Panther. Hello, Kitty. The slowly assassinate the greats. 
goodbye Whitney. You can see the future if you learn history. I'm speaking to you straight and right. They'll have you leaning left like 450. Where the wealth, we, the women, have you chasing dimes, wasting time. <sighs> chasing dimes, wasting time. That's a triple, double entendre and alliteration at the same damn time. Okay, so the Sufi can rock. Can we have another conversation other than your top five dead of a life? Is that can we talk about the top 1% in the bottom 99? Or the wise 5% of death, dumb, and blind 85? Or how the circle seven and the 120 saved all lives? On the boat with Jesus' name, Lucifer came. And then proof of our name when poof, David Blaine disappeared between the noose and the chains. Euthanasia introducing the youth to the cane. So we singing and rapping, attempts at reducing the pain. We don't know what else to do with the pain. We don't know what else to do with the pain. They say rock for us and then they clap for us. Are you not entertained? <sighs> Standing on my brother's body, are you not entertained? <sighs> Carrying my son's carcass, are you not entertained? But through all the battery and all the abuse, we are still so beautiful. Our babies like balls of light, bright enough to brighten the darkness of the battlefield. But looking into my daughter's face only reminds me that there's a battle still, and that the battle's real, and that a draw is a win for losers. We must win. They have killed us so many times. We have died so many deaths. We have died for everyone. We have died for everything. We have died for nothing. We are done with death. We are done with death. We will not die another day. We are the true and living.